As the saying goes, a day late, a dollar short. Well, hundreds of teens employed through the city of New Orleans have yet to be paid. So what's going on with their paychecks? WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor live from City Hall with what Mayor Cantrell has to say about all of this. Shay. Travers in Sella, the teens actually, they tell me that they started working through job one on June 5th. Now about 10 days after they were supposed to receive their first paycheck, and many of these teenagers, they tell me that they're just frustrated, and so are their parents. You sign up and this is what you get. You work in this hot heat and you're not paid. Then when you ask about payment, oh, I don't know when you're gonna get paid. That is, to me, pushing the children to the streets. This parent who does not want to be identified says her 16 year old is deeply disheartened after not receiving pay for working 25 hours or more a week over the course of the past month through the city's job one program. It's just a bad situation how overall. According to this letter sent to parents, teens were not paid due to unforeseen circumstances. Mayor Latoya Cantrell apologizing during her weekly meeting when asked. There was a glitch in our ADP uh, system relative to them getting paid on their first check. The glitch has been dealt with. Job one officials tell WDSU the kids should be paid by July 17th. There isn't a glitch in the health department system. There isn't a glitch in Nord system. There isn't a glitch in the mayor's office of youth and family system. Radisha Harness Parker runs the New Orleans Youth Coalition, offered to teens this summer through job one. Through her program, teens learn how to build a community garden. What's grown here will be sold to community members and encouraging entrepreneurship. She says since the teens did not receive their first check, many have not returned. Her concern is the potential decisions many of these teens will make since stopping work with the city. It can be gun violence. It can be them acting out in class. Why are we acting like if as an adult, if we don't be paid, we're not going to say anything about it. But we expect these kids to just sit and be patient and wait and wait and wait. And job one did tell me that the teens will be compensated between July 17th and July 19th. I'm told that they will be compensated for all the work that they've done since June 5th. And of course, WDSU will continue to keep you updated on this. Reporting live from City Hall, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.